Hey guys, this is GriffoMedia.com. Can you believe it's two years ago since we pitted head-to-head -head the Braun Series 7 versus the Series 9? And I'm a guy that takes time to do things, two years in total, but there is a winner, the victorious shaver, the one that I kept and the one I threw away. I actually sold on eBay, I think. But anyway, watch the original video and I'm going to tell you my favourite and we're going to cut this stubble here as well with the one that is the most victorious. What do you reckon? Braun Series 7 or the upgraded Series 9? The answer after this. You're on GriffoMedia.com. I'm Griffo. Right in front of your eyes, you're seeing my Braun Series 7 shaver, which has been my shaver now for the last eight or nine years, nearly a decade. And in that time, it has been fantastic. And that is the reason today I'm upgrading to the new Series 9, which we'll unbox in just a second and I'll give you my thoughts on it. So this, as I say, for nearly the last decade has been my uh, shaver of choice and it's done a really good job of it, actually. Um, I'm not a daily shaver, but uh, every few days we're taking away that stubble. Uh, this recently got a new foil just on the edge of the shaver and uh, it's still holding a really good charge, actually. You can hear that. Still really powerful. You get the uh, the trimmer on the Series 7 just on the side here. Uh, but as you can see, uh, nearly a decade of use, it's starting to look a bit tired. And uh, I know for a fact by upgrading to Series 9, I'm going to get a little bit more power in the shave and maybe a better cut to what this is giving me. Uh, but this has been great. Uh, with this in the box, originally I got the cleaning dock, uh, which you have to buy the cleaning cartridges from. Uh, you get the little indicator on this one. Uh, battery, obviously it needs a charge at the moment. Hygiene, it also needs a clean. I don't need to do that now because I will be disposing of this um, either to a good home or to my local uh, recycling company. But anyway, let's get rid of that for a second. I will do a comparison. So this here is the Braun Series 9. Uh, there's no specific reason I went for the gold edition. Yeah, it looks pretty, it looks nice. Uh, seemingly it's the top of the range. This, however, does not require the cleaning dock and the cartridges. You can actually just rinse this just under the tap and you can get a clean on it that way. Uh, but it's very pretty box, uh, always well packaged kit from Braun. And uh, as you can see, the, the gold trim on this just gives it that extra kind of premium quality look. You've got the charging dock on there as well and also a leather carry case. But as I say, there's no... Uh, cleaning module with this one. So just get a, a little knife to this and we'll just unbox it and just see what we get here in the packaging. So that, uh, that should unbox, take it out of the box and see what we get. So we'll do away with that for a second. Just pop that there. And uh, they do come in quite premium quality boxes. I think the original retail price of this on Amazon uh, when it first came out was about 300 UK pounds. And uh, let's just unbox this and uh, see what it looks like when we get the packaging off. So here we go. Looks like it's uh, already pre-packaged in its case. So uh, we'll just put that to one side for just a second. That's the shaver in a leather case. Let me just have a quick smell. Yeah, that is premium quality leather. And of course in here you get uh, the dock, which is also gold trimmed, which is also quite nice. And also you get the, um, as I'm in the UK, the UK charging uh, adapter as well, which we'll have a look at in just a second. So anyway, let's put that to one side and have a look at the shaver. It is a nice touch. On the leather case, you also get a gold zipper. Zip that open. And there it is, in all its glory. And uh, exactly the same size and dimensions to the uh, Series 7, which we just discarded to one side before. Um, but the gold just really sets it off, doesn't it? Really nice looking shaver. So uh, weight wise, it's kind of identical in terms of weight as well. See the heads on there, a better head to the seven, I'd say. To the foil, it looks like a, a much bigger cutting surface uh, in different directions. And it does review a lot better than what the seven does. If you see those two side by side, there you go. 
So yeah, uh, I'm not sure if this comes pre-charged actually. If it's not the case, we will uh, give it a little charge. Let's try the, uh, the battery power. No, it looks like it needs a charge out the box, which probably is good uh, for reasons of uh, postage and stuff. So I'm gonna give this a charge and then I'll be back with you with my thoughts on how well this cuts compared to the seven. So this is the Braun Series 9. So I've just put this on charge and according to the manual, it only takes five minutes to get a 50 minute cutting charge on this. So uh, it's got a nice little blue indicator light. I guess when that fills up to the top, we are good to shave. So we're back with the results in a second. Whilst it's doing a quick charge, let's have a look at some of the features on the side of the box. It's got the Synchrosonic trademark technology, whatever that is. Uh, the 10D Flex head, it's got the quick charge, which it's currently doing. Five minutes apparently for a 50 minute shave. Then you've got, of course, the wet and dry option. You could be in the shower or the bath and still use this. Um, I prefer dry shaving. Precision trimmer and the protective skin guard. This is the box here. You can see uh, how intense that head is on the Series 9. And of course, you saw the front of the box before because we just unboxed it. And that is it there. So hopefully by now we're charged and we can go and try this baby out. So guys, here I am in the bathroom. I'm gonna try the Series 7 first on this quite intense stubble that's been growing probably for the last few days. You can see that it's hardly wanting to cut it after a few goes. Get a bit closer there. That's taken a few goes, isn't it? It still cuts and it's still okay. Let's bring in the brand new Series 9 and see how good that is on this little section here. As you can see, I went probably about 10 times up and down. I'm hoping this is gonna be better. You can hear a different kind of motor. And as you can see, After like three or four goes there, I've got the same results as what the seven gave me. So, uh, it feels a lot more comfortable on the skin as well. And as you can see, just from that little test there, I feel really smooth in this section where whether Series 7 did, it still feels a little bit grainy. So, uh, so far so good with this. Obviously I'm gonna give it a, a full shave now and I'll be back with the results just after. So I've had a shave, uh, generally shave for about six or seven minutes. I'll just turn the light on here um, in the bathroom. And I've got to say, the Series 9 does not give me the close shave that the Series 7 does. Um, you can probably still see I've got a lot of hairs there in the six, seven minutes that haven't been picked up. So that's a little disappointing. So here we go then, my final analysis of the Series 9. I've now had a full shave with it and I've got to say it is a good shaver. However, initially we did see on the box that for five minutes charge time, they reckon you're gonna get a 50 minute shave. I'd say more like a five minute shave to be honest with you. On a full charge, however, you did get full power and you did get a long shave time. Um, and I'd also say that it's actually nicer on the skin than Series 7. But my Series 7 is nearly a decade old. Uh, had I known what I know about the Series 9 prior to buying it, would I have upgraded from the Series 7? Probably not. The Series 7 is still a good shaver. Mine is nearly 10 years old, and I guess if I pick one of these up now off Amazon for about 150 quid, are uh, you talking, you know, proper top-notch shaver? Um, this one's a little bit battered, and that's why I felt the need to upgrade. Potentially, whatever upgraded to another seven, probably for the cost. Going to pick up the limited edition gold one off Amazon, probably for about 200 quid. eBay may be cheaper. But in essence, it's a really good shaver. Maybe not worth the upgrade, but uh, hopefully you'll make your decision based on cost or looks. Because let's be honest, 
Series 9 does look a little bit nicer than the original Series 7, which for my money still, one of the best shavers you can buy. Series 9 is very nice. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Any comments, guys, just comment below. Thanks for watching. So there we have it, the original video, 2018, that. So which shaver do you think I kept? And which one did you think I threw away? The best of the two, in my opinion, after extensive testing and going back in two from one to another, one to another, is this one. Yeah, it's the Braun Series 7. It's just brilliant. This is more than a decade old. For those of you in the UK that watch Only Force and Horses, it feels like Trigger's broom. <laughs> it's had that many foil heads. Look at it, it's a little bit battered. It's used. Um, maybe I should ask Santa for a brand new one for Christmas this year, but this absolutely, absolutely is the best razor of the two. And here's the reason why it's just really good at cutting. I love the trimmer functionality on this as well, which uh, is absolutely brilliant. You know, if you wanna do your sideies, didn't really have that on the Series 7. It was a bit wishy-washy. It had this little plastic thing that, that uh, kind of scooped up. It's just really well made. And um, the good thing about this as well is that you get the lemon cartridges and just plonk it in the machine and it cleans it and it just always feels nice and fresh every time I use it. And um, yeah, it's brilliant. So that is the winner. Uh, the other one I think I sold on eBay. Um, it wouldn't have bought a second hand shaver, but somebody did. Um, but anyway, this still really powerful. Check this out. You can see it's just really good, isn't it? And that's some pretty hefty stubble it's getting through there and it's just absolutely taking it out. So there we go, guys. That is the shaver. Turn it off just so that you can hear me. Uh, obviously you've got the indicator on there and it tells you when it needs cleaning uh, and all that kind of stuff. Um, so there we go, there's the winner. My battered Braun Series 7, absolutely trouncing the Series 9 in my long extensive test. Hey guys, here's a new one. Uh, we're in lockdown at the moment because this is kind of 5th of November 2020. Maybe you're watching this video and you're thinking, actually that's years ago. Uh, obviously videos stay around on YouTube forever, but lockdown hairdo I think next guys. Look at this. And that's why I've got this. My next review is the Philips Hair Clippers. I'm going to do my own hair on camera as a lockdown haircut. You'll probably find the video below, so do a search for it. Um, if you're a bit apprehensive about doing your hair, guys, then, you know, we're gonna absolutely go for it. So uh, there we go. But anyway, winner of the Braun Test Series 7. If you've got one, keep on to it. Don't upgrade because you'll be doing yourself an injustice and you'll find yourself a couple of hundred quid out of pocket. Thanks for watching the channel, guys. Always appreciate it. Like and subscribe. Just click below any comments. You know the score. Thanks again. Cheers.